Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nimesh and I've been working as a digital colorist for comics and I'm also a creator and I publish my work under Nimprod Comics. And this is After Panels. What is After Panels, you ask? Well, I love reading comics and usually after reading them, just like everyone else, I like to talk about them. So I created this show and where I will review and discuss comics that I read with you guys. And hopefully I will present you a comic that you probably will be interested in reading as well. And in today's video, we're going to talk about rays. So let's dive in. Sam Willis, the creator of this comic, reached out to me on Twitter to see if I could review his comic. But I already have them on my list because I already saw their cover and I was very intrigued. It's very hard to find horror stories in comics nowadays, especially. Well, even though some try, they don't get anywhere. But uh, so I wanted to read this one. So let's start with this. Uh, Raze. Well, f first thing and probably the most important thing that I need to say is that this comic isn't for kids. So if you're a minor, um, let's say under 15 years old, probably don't read this comic because this isn't for you. There are, this is about zombies. This is a horror, horror comic. This is about zombies and there are a lot of blood, death and uh, foul language. So don't read this, <laughs> I guess. And also maybe don't watch this video because I might, end up showing some art of the comic that uh, guys weren't supposed to be. So, kids, if you're watching this, stop watching now. Okay. <laughs> so, like I was saying, Sam Willis is the one of the creators of the comic. Um, he is also the writer. And Tremaine Prim is the artist, at least on issue one. And then he comes back again later on. Uh, but on issue two and three, I believe there is another artist and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, so the comic starts, uh, without much explanation. Everything starts on a bridge. Uh, there are a group in a car, a group of friends, it seems. And there is two girls with them. I'm guessing they are probably, um... Girlfriends, uh, probably. Like I said, the comic starts a little bit confusing. Um, I felt a little bit lost when I started reading. I had to read it twice so to make this video for you guys. And um, still, I'm not very sure <laughs> about many things. So, like I said, uh, we start the story with a group of friends. Um, they they are all stuck on the bridge in there is a big line things cars aren't moving which means obviously probably means that something up front is happening uh we just don't know what yet and th this is where the the part starts to confuse me because as you can see here the page is all black and this is a lighter black so it is a lighter black it's gray in this case a bluish gray tint and uh, it confused me a, a little bit because I said, okay, maybe it's just uh, a misprint or something. Or maybe it has to do with something with the story. But as we progressed on the next pages, uh, we come back to the black again. So I thought that, well, since there is a little bit of action here, because we see one of the car one of the, um, the guy who is driving this car, he hits the, the throttle and ends up banging the car in front, which is a normal thing to do, right? You're, I mean, you're stuck in the bridge. There is a lot of cars in front of you. No one is moving. We need to be entertained, right? Right. So what do we do? We just smash it on the car. <laughs> That's a good way to start. By the way, one of the things that I really like on this comic was, uh, oh, everything happens so fast. Because since issue two, uh, you you you're dry, you're um, you're put in in the middle of the action, and from there things just go crazy. 
there is not much uh, explanation going on before it who they are what they're doing what's happening there isn't anything you just go immediately to the action you put in the middle of the bridge this happens uh this guy uh i think he's called ian he does something stupid just for no reason apparently at least i didn't understand the reason if there is a one and he just hit the the car in front of him and uh yeah things just e escalate from there <laughs> and again uh, the the black turns a little bit uh the bluish gray a uh, dark bluish gray very dark almost black so it confuses me a lot this is another thing so th this guy uh, is from the the car in front who just got hit he comes to talk with the car behind them that hit them and try to get some explanation with them and i didn't understand very well what happened here because they are talking and the guy says oh your friend is going away i guess so he's trying to get back to his car i don't know it's a little bit confusing at start so again we go back to everything is black why i say everything is uh very confusing because of this on, on the last panel you can see they are all stopped the traffic is not moving so on the previous page what the hell happened here i don't understand did he, his friend went away what do you mean did he go I, i'm I, I i was lost a little bit uh, to be honest very very very, uh, very odd very then everyone seems to go out of the car and uh, they try to understand what's happening and why the traffic is not going on and i was like guys don't worry you are on the same page as me i don't understand what's happening and you guys don't understand what's happening we are all stuck in this bridge in this long line of traffic trying to figure out and we will be able to do it let's just hang on we have the the police here uh stopping everyone to go forward and we understand that there was an accident uh a bus hit a car apparently and uh, like i said we come here into the story in the middle of nothing uh in the middle of nothing in the middle of action and uh, things just start going crazy from here everyone uh they they hit the car in front of them there is a little bit of argument there we find out the, there was an accident and here again we move to the black pages to the to this bluish gray probably it has something to do with the storytelling i'm not very sure what but uh, because it was hard um it, it was hard for me to understand i i really wish the maybe the artist could explain what was going on in here because it seems to me that uh, on on the parts where we're getting action the page uh turns from the black to this bluish gray uh, the, the dark bluish gray so maybe that's what they were looking to do a special effect or something or maybe i'm just wrong so anyway um these two guys start fighting with each other and all of a sudden he go he gets mad and his veins start to pop up and he just becomes completely crazy and you can as you can see on the final panels he just smashes smashes the the head of everyone there so for what i i understood uh he, he kind of becomes a zombie because this is a zombie story uh clearly very uh influenced by the walking dead and just like the walking dead is a co the comic walking dead is done on black and white black and white i'm guessing this is also influenced by it and this is one of the reasons why they're doing on black and white which obviously there's no problem i prefer color first of all i'm colorist so obviously i prefer it color but uh, i think with colors you can do a lot more to help identify the characters because that was also one of the reasons why this comic felt a little bit confusing to me because everyone looked the same and sometimes uh especially when they change the artist things change a little bit too much and it was hard to identify who was who 
on the character wise so by by this time um things just go crazy all the all the zombies start going after them and they start to run away police uh strike try to stop them but obviously it seems that it doesn't work so just like a traditional zombie story everyone tries to run away and try to survive they end up uh going uh on the top of the bus to save themselves while the zombies tries to while the zombies tries to grab them or to catch them and again uh you know like i said i i found this very confusing the the black pages to these dark blue uh gray color pages uh, just please guys if it has nothing to do with the storytelling just try to make it everything black because this is very confusing very distracting but in in the end like i said um it is a little bit uh, confusing but you can still follow the story the story is quite good at least it has very action from from the beginning till the end they tried to run away from the from the zombies and in the end they have four issues released for so far and i've read the all four of them and uh, like i said the pacing is very good because things go crazy and start escalating issue per issue per issue um and there are a lot of questions that uh, that keeps uh, rising uh, they they are zombies so i'm guessing because what just happened before with that guy uh punching down the other one he transformed he kind of transformed uh into a zombie so i don't know in the city is there something in the air that uh is reacting badly with people and making them uh zombies or it is a disease thing uh maybe they have something in the blood that triggers that makes them like zombies all these questions i do hope sam and tremaine uh will be able to answer because i'm very curious how this virus started uh what, what is happening uh because uh, i believe there is another character called ashley and she seems to be kind of doctor or nurse that worked on a hospital and she mentioned that uh, she knows the symptoms because she came from the hospital and it happened the same things for the people in the hospital. So she kind of recognized these symptoms. So I'm guessing this is a uh, disease related, something that triggered them. I'm very curious because I, I believe they want to try to present us a different zombies from what we are used to. And uh, I do hope they ex end up explaining us how this works because it, it would be good uh for us to know at least the covers of the issue of the of the comics are ox excellent to be honest i really love them i don't know who the cover artist is the covers are excellent i i really dig what what the their covers the, their covers is looking awesome uh interior art is not bad um we all start somewhere it is enjoyable at least and um, it's just a little bit confusing maybe you guys get an editor to help you with the especially with the dialogues because some of the balloon positions aren't very good and um, it also helps on the confusion that i get into because i don't know who's talking first and i need to read everything then go back to understand what's happening but um yeah uh, the covers are excellent uh, this is from issue two and uh, this is from issue three uh, like i said i don't know who who's doing the covers but man perfect they are top notch they are very engaging they really want me to know more um so yeah this is my review for rays i think this is a good comic and i'm very invested and interested in knowing more especially how these zombie things uh happened and this first group that we started with uh they end up meeting another group oh uh yeah they end up meeting the the another group um uh, on another car which actually was uh the ones that they hit in the beginning of the issue two groups that join together and i guess they're going to survive this apocalypse that's going on and um i do hope they 
end up explaining w w what's going on so yeah this is my review for race i hope you guys liked it i'll link below on the description the where you can read these comics also visit nimprod.com and check out our comics the link will be also in the description uh, i hope you like this video and if you did please give it a like and in case you haven't already subscribed to the channel so you get the notification when the next video comes out and if you feel generous and you want to support this channel you can buy me a coffee so it keeps me boosted for more videos just go to coffee.com slash nimprod and fill in with your tip. I highly appreciate any coffee you send my way and every support is welcome. Also, you can follow me at Nimprod on Twitter and chat with me about Rays if you guys read it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, and if you haven't read it, read it first and then chat with me. Talk, let me know what you guys think about this comic. What you about, think about the stories, what you think uh, is behind all these uh, zombie things. Um, what questions you still have about the story that you want to see answered by, by the writers. And, uh, and that is all for today. So thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video. And until then, please keep reading indie comics.